This video follows on from the one called Flasking and involves the removal of the wax and any temporary base plate and we call this the lost wax technique. We will then fill the created void with acrylic resin and this is called packing. Once we have packed the dentures we will place the flasks into either a water based heat source or just a dry heat oven to cure and process the acrylic resin. This is called the processing. When the plaster and stone in the denture flasks has fully set, usually 10 to 15 minutes will be enough, they should be placed into the boiling out tank where hot water is run onto the flasks for 7 to 10 minutes. In this case, the water temperature is 100 degrees Celsius. When the flasks are removed from the tank, their upper and lower portions can be carefully teased apart using a wax knife. In this case, there's a shellac base plate with silicon wash inside it. These should be removed to ensure that there's nothing to contaminate or adversely affect the shape of our completed denture. Loose plaster edges should be removed from the flasks and then the portion should be returned to the boiling out tank to be flushed with more hot water. This time we use the handheld water jet to spray both portions of the mould, removing all traces of wax and other residues. The acrylic resin is now ready to be mixed so an apron, gloves and goggles are essential. The monomer is measured, in this case 8 to 10 cc of liquid, and placed into the mixing jar. The polymer powder is then sifted into it until we achieve a consistency similar to wet sand. This should then be mixed thoroughly before replacing the lid of the mixing jar to prevent evaporation. We'll leave the concoction for around 5 minutes until it reaches a doughy state. After boiling out the wax and allowing the moulds to cool slightly, any loose teeth can be secured in place. A separating medium should be applied to prevent the absorption of the monomer into the plaster. In this case we're using sodium alginate. When applying the agent we should make sure that the surfaces are cold and dry. Once the separating medium has been applied, we can remove any excess with the air nozzle. It's now time to pack the acrylic resin. We place polythene separating sheets over the arches of the upper and lower models. The acrylic mixing jar can now be opened and the doughy material removed. We place the acrylic into the two sections of the flasks. The dough is rolled into a long sausage shape and pressed into the mould around the shape of the arch. With the polythene sheets in place, the moulds are closed and placed into the pneumatic press, ready to be closed under pressure. We close the upper part of the press to hold the flasks in position, and slowly apply pressure using the pump handle. 
This process should take place slowly and in stages, and as it does, the acrylic dough will flow out between the denture portions. When applying the pressure, the handle should be pressed one or two times before allowing it to subside for about 45 seconds and repeating the process. Once the flasks have been fully compressed, the press can be opened and they can be removed. We carefully open the two hemispheres of the flask using a wax knife and then peel away the polythene separator. The wax knife can now be used to remove most of the excess resin, leaving only a rim of about 5mm around the denture. This excess will provide enough material to fill the mould once contraction takes place during processing. If during separation any of the alginate seal is removed, this must be reapplied to the plaster surfaces. At this point we can reclose the flasks and return them to the pneumatic press where the pressure can once again be applied. When they are completely closed they can be removed from the press before being fixed into a spring clamp to maintain pressure during the processing cycle. The two flasks are placed one on top of the other and the upper arm is tightened fully. We then release the pressure slightly by a quarter of a turn in order to accommodate initial expansion. The flasks in the spring clamp can now be placed into either a water bath or a dry heat processor. In this case we use a dry heat processor with the timer set to run overnight. A water bath would be set to a temperature of 72 Celsius for 16 hours.